I don't know how you could be so calm. If it was me, I'd be booking myself. Jenny, if you can hear me, you need to know. This wish you're about to make is not what you think. There's terms and there's conditions. I don't exactly know what they mean. But he's a trickster. Him. It, it twists what you say. So you've got to be careful. Jenny. Jenny! I'm sorry, Jenny. It looks like you're the last one because I don't exist anymore. <laughs> the camp has fucked that up. I wish for invisibility, therefore, I am invisible. Jenny, if you can hear me right now, please listen. Don't do what I did. You made one statement. Don't be ambiguous. One point. Don't do what I did. Please, don't! Come on. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere, you sneaky mother... Please don't be mad at me for wanting this to be over. Jenny, no! No! Rip me off. Chapter two is the same as the fifth chapter in my book. This is plagiarism. Plagiarism, Mr. Broadbent. How dare you? Get out of my office now. I ain't gonna tell you again. Or what? You gonna call security? Does he look like I need security? You look like you're scared. Getting physical tells me you're scared. You'd better lawyer up because I'm gonna take you for every penny you have. I'll let you into a little secret, should I? I ain't scared of anything. Not your lawyer, and certainly not a little pitten like you. Now, f*** off. You haven't heard the last of me. I'm gonna sue you. Wake up. Get in here, I haven't got all day. All right. 
as your literary agent, I have to say, I didn't like them. There was something amateurish about them. After your first book, I was expecting more. That's why I said you need to go back to uni. You need more experience. Yes, I took your advice and I've learned so much since enrolling. Come on, Zach, I put so much work into those. It took me ages. It's not just me, love, okay? The publishers, they want something else too. Your first book, Storm Prophecy, that was bold, it was visceral, it was manly even. I loved it and so did the publishers. That's what they want more of. This is too tame. It's heartfelt and true. Look, sometimes true stories, they don't sell. You need to find the drama or make it up. This one was very personal to me. I don't care. Nobody wants to be led down a long winding road to find nothing but darkness at the end of it. That's life. <laughs> We're not into the business of finding those niche markets where readers want to be depressed whilst reading. There is a market for those. What about Ned Vizzini's It's Kind of a Funny Story? Or Ellen Hopkins' Impulse Michael Scott? Suicide knows. As I said, we're not into those niche markets, okay? That's not what we market you as. Some writers have the clout to write about whatever they want when they've got an established fan base, but you're new. And readers, they want to know what they're going to get into when they recognise a name. Look, maybe revisit this when you've done the free book deal with what the publishers want, okay? But for now, it's a pass. Look, don't take this personal, all right? It's, it's just business. No. There's always the option to do the trilogy. No, I don't want to be tied down to a series and never accomplish anything. Look, I'm not pressuring you into anything, all right? But this is the option our buyers are barking for. And also, the subject of your first book was a hit with the kids, so think along those lines, all right? Urban myths, they sell. Morning, Mum. That's better. So, I had my meeting with Zach today. You know, my agent. He wasn't very impressed. I know. We spent so long on those as well. It would have been so good to be recognised as a serious author. But he didn't think a change of style was the best course of action for me right now as a newly published author. I understand. It's how the business runs. But it still hurts to be told your work isn't good enough. So, I guess we're starting from scratch. Oh, hi, Gabby. Hello. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, you know, just writing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> your mum loves hearing about your stories. Hope so. You did say to keep talking to her. I did. She's in there somewhere, and hearing your voice is good. How is she? Everything's fine. She's a strong woman. She just can't wake up. She'll get there. All it takes is for that miracle synapse to trigger the right sequence, and then she'll be skipping on out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're right. Don't lose hope. I just wish I knew when to expect it. All the vitals are strong. We'll keep monitoring her and let you know if anything changes. She's connected to the hospital remotely, so I can let you know if anything changes, even when I'm not here. Thank you. I feel like coming here <laughs> and seeing you. <laughs> so, what are you writing now? Uh, something new. Oh, what happened to the thing you were writing last week? Changed my mind. That's a shame. Still, I guess that's what an artist is like, always moving from one project to the next. Yeah, something like that. I look forward to reading it. I'll send you a copy once it's done. I like that. I love a good read. Breaks the monotony of life. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Just wake up.
for what? I didn't do anything. It takes guts to do something new. He might not have liked it, but you can you can still bite it and then publish it after your contract is up. Thank you. Hey. I love you, you know. I love you too. Hey yo. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, how'd the audition go? Uh, By the way, um, the painting for your mum's almost finished. It should be ready for her 80th birthday. Todd, you're such a sweetheart. My mum will be made up with it. Before we start talking about this week's book, I think we'd all like to hear from Gabby about her meeting yesterday. Well, it didn't go as well as expected. What? Why? I don't know, it just wasn't what they were looking for. You were so proud of this one. I know. It was just a bit too ambitious for a new writer. But it's okay. Don't worry, I've got a new one I'm writing. Do tell. Well, basically, I found this incident in the news about a group of teenagers who performed a ritual to conjure up a djinn. What's a djinn? Like a genie. A genie? Yeah. Like an Aladdin, one that grants wishes. Exactly. Genies aren't real. Yeah, I know that, but it makes a more interesting story. Is that what your agent wants you to write? Well, no, not exactly. He wants me to do a follow-up of Storm Prophecy, but I know I've got a three-book deal with him. It's just, I don't want to waste it on a Storm Prophecy trilogy. I've got, you know, I just, I just want to, I'm an artist, I want to explore and discover my art. No disrespect or anything. like. Okay, calling you an idiot was, but I would kill to have a three-book deal with an agent. You've got to walk before you can fly, and it's pretty clear you can't see that. I just think you should play the game a little bit. Well, the genie idea sounds stellar. How much have you written? Well, nothing yet, but I've done a lot of research, and I've got a basic plot outline, I just need to flesh it out. You better write me into this one. Then, when they come to the casting for the movie version, you can suggest me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll all be in it. Where are you going? Am I about to start? To the toilet. Is that okay? Okay. Don't be long. Start without me. I want to discover and explore my art.
I don't know. It's a winner. It's interesting, I'll give you that. What's the inspiration? Well, I researched some local urban myths in the area and found this incident that happened right here. They call it the suicide pact. And I found an interview with a single survivor who claims he conjured up a gin and one by one they succumbed to their desires. We can't call it a gin because readers won't know what that is, so we're going to stick with the genie. Is this biographical? Because we don't do biographers. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we can just say it's based on true events to incorporate more interest. Oh, um, maybe interview the survivor. She died, broke her neck. Oh, so you're going to go with suicide pact angle? Uh, no, I'm going to go with the genie idea. I want to sprinkle as much realism in it as possible. I hate to burst your bubble, love, but genies, they ain't real. Wasn't it you that said you had to find the drama or make it up? Adding the genie into the mix will just make for a better story. The suicide pact angle's better. Unless you can prove genies are real. Well, there's only one way to do that. I'm guessing I'm going to have to perform the ritual. To conjure a genie? Good luck with that. Well, I was hoping that you would come say hello yourself. If nothing happens, then no harm, no foul. But if something does, then maybe you'll consider my take on the story? No, I've got better things to do in my time. Besides, I don't believe in ghouls, ghosts and the afterlife. You sound scared. I ain't scared of anything. Really? <laughs> nice try, love. No. Okay. How about this? If nothing happens, then I will drop it. And I'll do the trilogy. Yeah? You're on. Deal. And when nothing happens, you stop pussyfooting around and you give the buyers what they want. The Storm Prophecy Trilogy. Why are we doing this? Because we're friends, and friends help one another. Do you think Princess Gabby's gonna remember us when she makes it big time? Yeah, she's not like that. Look, you can go if you want, but for me, I'm staying. This is gonna be a good test for me as an actor. Yeah, me too. It'd be like theater. We need to make this really convincing, like, like an evil spirit is actually possessing us. Not so much the exorcist or anything, more creepy like Rosemary's baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> nice to be on the same page as a fellow actor. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. It'll be fun. And imagine this actually works and the genie turns up. What do you wish for? Genies don't exist. Yeah, but what if? <sighs> I'd wish for this moment to be over. Oh my god. Come on, Melania. Lighten up. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm off. Enjoy your little seance. Hey guys, are we ready? Do you need a plan? Everyone except Melania, who's leaving, by the way. Oh, Gabby. Oh, Zach, you're early. Yeah, I've uh, got to be somewhere for ten. Okay, uh, everyone, this is Zach, my agent. What agency does he work for? MI6? Well, yeah, I used to be in the army, love, but I kept up with the regime. So, this is the Scooby Gang. Yeah, I'm Melania. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. So, now we're going to get this shit show on the road. Okay, everyone, take a deep breath and relax. of you.
out hands. Close your eyes and I will summon the Jin. Veni Jin da Mihim Volatete Mim. 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 You have one wish, Gabriel. I shall return in due time. You consider what you want. Gabby! 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 What happened? You're shaking. Did you see it? What did you do? What do you mean? How did you do that? I, I didn't do anything. Have you drugged me? No! Well played, Gabby. I can see right through this little stunt, okay? What? What do you mean? I mean, you've lost. Get started on the next Storm Prophecy, all right? I want it on my desk, first draft within the next three months. No. Yeah. Evening, ladies and gents. No, wait. Wait. Where are you going? Did you see it? Found it? I, I don't know what I saw. What have we done? Wait, where are you going? I'm going home. We need to talk about this. Talk about this? You've just evoked something evil, you stupid little b Why the hell would I stay here? Mr. Zack, wait. Mr. Zack. 
Yeah. Can you give me a lift to the station? No. I don't know what went on in there. I swear. I'm scared. Well, I've got to admit, all right, Gabby? Very creative. But I can see right through this rouge, all right? So don't bother going on. But you, you're, you're not a bad actress. <laughs> I'm not an actress. Yeah, yeah. Look, here's my business card, all right? Take it. I'm thinking about taking on actors. OK, but do you want to maybe go get a drink? I know a nice little pub just down the road. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me a call in about 10 years? I'm 25. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they all say. I don't want anything from you. You're not real. <laughs> I just want to be noticed by men and not dismissed. You want to be noticed? Do you need a hand with those? No, thank you. I don't want to do this. I gamble and I lost, Mum. Everything I touch turns to shit. I don't really want to talk about it. Hey, everyone. Hey, Gabby. What's going on? Hello, Gabby. Oh, my... What's happened? What? It's a push-up bra. Really? Yeah, and I went shopping and bought some new clothes. That's all. OK. Hey, everyone. Sorry, I'm... L uh, uh, late. What is wrong with everyone? It's a push-up bra. No push up bra. Really? You were gawking. What? No. Yes, you were. Your tongue was hanging out and everything. You just caught me by surprise. Do you think. Do you think it was the genie? Gabs, I really don't want to talk about that. The whole thing freaked me out. But we all experienced it. We, we tapped into something we shouldn't have. Yeah, I know, but it was real. So maybe we should just ask her if she used the genie. We can't just promise. 
promise me you won't use that genie. Even if it offers you everything in the world. Promise me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I promise. We got lucky. I just want to move on and forget about this. You're right. Okay. Wish everyone admired me. Done. I saw him last night. Did you check his dorm? Yeah, but no one is forward to seeing him. That's weird. Sure, it's nothing. I just thought you might have seen him. No. Gabs. Gabs, have you seen this? Sam, turn to channel five. just doesn't make any sense. Todd just wouldn't leave without telling us. We know, we know. Look, I've got to go. I'll see you later, all right? Okay. Genie has only one 
function to grant people their wishes. What did he wish for? That's between him and me. All I can tell you is that he got what he wanted. I know you did something to him. He wouldn't just leave like that. Wouldn't he? Success doesn't change you. It only brings out your true self. You know what that's like, don't you, Gabby? Your first attempt at writing a novel was a big success. So much so, it brought out the pretentiousness in you. You sucked up the adulation, and it brought you out with the selfishness in you. Your true nature. You knew Melania was insecure, lonely, jealous of you and She's, she was in pain. She was in pain. Yet you did nothing to help her. She's happy now, by the way. I'm not falling for this. You're evil. And you've come to this conclusion based on what? The way I look? Of course, everything that's not aesthetically pleasing has to be evil, right? The good guys wear white, the bad guys wear black. Ah, oh, Hollywood. No, I don't. I don't want my wish. Yes, a healthy bank balance, a good looking boyfriend, blessed with locks. Maybe you're right. Why would you need me? You only wanted to fool your agent into getting what you wanted. You don't need my wish. You have what you want, but others could benefit from your wish. Don't you think? so much to tell you. Mrs. Darcy! The doctors have done all the tests and I'm fine. I just don't get it. How was I asleep for two years? I don't know. Hey, Gabs. What's the good news? Hello. Who's this? Mum. This is my boyfriend, Landon. Landon's my mum, Aurora. Uh, Mrs. Darcy, hi. I can see why you like him. There's plenty of space to fill the gaps with your talking. Hey. <laughs> Oh, that's not changed. No, it's not changed, which reminds me, I have some more news I need to tell you. Oh, I can't wait to hear. Do you want a cup of tea? <gasps> That'd be lovely. Mm -hmm. And then you can fill me in on everything I've missed. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you, Gabs. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, she's awake. But how? What happened? What did the doctors say? I don't know. They just said it would happen. It's a matter of time. This is incredible. I know. I'm still reading from it. And so unexpected? Yeah, well, Melanie said it was just be a matter of time, and today's the day. Why today? What changed? No, she just needed the right stimulus at the right time. So suddenly, no atrophy or disorientation? It's like it never happened. Just seems strange. This is an amazing revelation and you're questioning it. No, you're right. I, I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Good. This is good news.
Hey Sam. No, not tonight. Maybe never. Can't you see she's a selfish b No, look, I can't tonight anyway, because I've got a date. Yeah, that fit guy in economics class. Yep, get this, his name is Artemis, and his dad is like Bruce Wayne Rich. Yeah, I know, looks like I've looked out there. Shit, I've got to go, I'm gonna be late. Alright, bye, bye. Coming, she's got a date. A date? Good for her. She hates you. You do know that, right? She's just jealous of my success. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my fault that my book has sold millions. This is a bit pathetic, isn't it? And Sam, you're tired. Should we just reschedule? No, no, it's okay. I'm good. Are you still having nightmares? Yeah, it's always the same guy. This figure in black chasing me and I can never see his face. I've done the whole therapy thing and that didn't work. But recently it hasn't been as bad. I mean, the dreams are still keeping me up at night, but now I'm dreaming about this new guy and he is so beautiful. I mean, he trumps Brad Pitt any day. <laughs> what a dream guy, eh? Do you get up to anything? Whatever do you mean, Gabby? <laughs> well, put it this way. I'm constantly having to change my bed sheets and I'm running out of washing powder. <laughs> hey. Did Gabby tell you the good news? No. What's up? My mum, she is awake. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's amazing. Why didn't you stop with that? I was, um, I was just waiting for Melania to arrive. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, she wished for it and it came true. You, you did? You made a wish to the genie and it came true. No, he's joking. It's true. How else can you explain it? Melania's boobs. Todd's rich now, with his world famous painting. Your mum, Aurora, suddenly out of her coma. I didn't wish it, and nor did Todd. Didn't he? Todd's got a bit of an ego, but he'd never leave without saying goodbye. Maybe Todd was right. Maybe it is a gift. Perhaps we should use For it. For sake, it's not. And you shouldn't have made that wish. It's not what happened. Where are you going? Away from you. She'll come around. Look, let's hit the pub. It's been a long time since you and me got pissed. You know what, Sam? It's not a bad idea. Bernard, ah, oh, you're worth every penny. <sighs> Thank you. Get to work and keep me in the loop, all right? Will do. What's going on? 
Who are you? And how the f did you get in here? Oh, it's you again. Is this one of Gabby's stunts? For the last time, I'm not interested, right? I'm not going to change my mind. This is ridiculous. <laughs> are you going to go? Or do I have to call security? I want you to get the f out of this office. That is your wish. No, I'll do you a deal, all right? Tell Gabrielle she's fired, and we're going to buy her out of her contract. We're only going to pay her off. This is harassment. Oh, oh, a clever dick. Oh, so I tell you what, what I make a wish, and then you're going to f off. All right. I want to be famous, like those kids on the internet, famous. You happy now? something here. What? Come on, did you see it? There. See what? Come on, I know you see it. It's the genie. Come on, guys, it's the genie. I don't want to talk about that. This is Zach's funeral. Are you that insensitive? Gabby, you have to understand, I get that it's Zach's funeral, but me and you, that's my priority. What is... What is going on with you? I don't want to talk about the genie. Why? Because you use it to bring your mum back? No. You did, Gabs, I know you did. Come on, just please talk to me. I'm done with this. Gabby, Todd's gone. And I'm pretty sure something terrible happened to him. Samantha visited Melania and she looks awful. And now this, a madman killed your agent. It can't be a coincidence. Wishing for what you want, going against nature? There has to be consequences. Be careful what you wish for, Gabby. Say.
I want to meet the man of my dreams. I don't want him to stay with me. So will death do us part sort of thing. <laughs> Done. Excuse me. I know you. Sorry, yeah. You sold me a book last month. The one your friend wrote. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I started reading it and it's really good. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm glad. She really is good. Yeah, she really is. <laughs> There's actually something else I wanted to ask you. And I'm sorry if this be, is being a little bit forward, but are you free this evening? Free? Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to join me for a drink. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's just last time we met, I really enjoyed talking to you. And if you're not busy, I, I know you, you look busy. I, I don't worry about it. I could do a drink. <laughs> That'd be nice. Well, we've had a few too many tonight, haven't we? I know. I count them. One, two, three, four. This is really good. <laughs> we should get one more. Can we get one more? <laughs> Gabby, have you, um, have you heard from uh, Samantha recently? I mean, why worry, it's late. I'm not talking to you. Go away. Please, I'm worried about her. She's probably just busy. Gabby, you and I both know she's never busy. Looks like there's got to be the whole thing. If you say Jeannie, I'm going to get seriously pissed off. Oh, you're already pissed off. Then they're going to get even more pissed off. Gabby, everyone around us is dead or missing. We have to talk about this. Has it visited you yet? Meaning what? Has it visited you? No. By the law of averages, it means that I'm next. What makes you think that I'm not next? Your mother. Just stop lying to me, please. Fine. You want to go there? Yes. I used my wish on my mum. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that really so bad? Yes, I can see it was selfish now. But I just wanted my mum back. If you were in my position, you would have done exactly the same thing. Gabs, I... I... We'll figure this out. I promise you, I'm not gonna let anything happen to your mum. Melania? Go away. We just want to talk. I said go away. I don't want to see anyone. 
We just want to know what you wished for. We're trying to figure this out. What do you think? What did you wish for? But what did you say exactly? Please, this is important. Just f off, Gabby! Melania, please. Sam is dead. Haven't you heard? We need to figure this out. I just wish that people would notice me. Is that exactly how you said it? Yeah. But it didn't happen the way you wanted it to. No. Please, would you let us in? I don't want you to see me. All right, just just stay there. Let us figure this out. Please don't do anything drastic, all right? Gabby. Yes. Hey, um, I figured it out. There's some ways we can make everything right. Which are? We can trick the genie. We can wish it to be set free. Or there's another one. The um, the master. The master can revoke their wish. And who's the master? I'm guessing. I mean, I'm guessing you are. I mean, you summoned it. So you want me to take back my wish so everything can go back to normal? I mean, not necessarily, No! But... You'll have to use your wish to set it free. But if you... But if you set it free, will that reverse everyone's wishes? My mum goes back into a coma. I don't know, Gabs. Well, I don't like any of those. You'll have to think of something else. What if we trick it? What will that do? I don't know. It's not exactly clear-cut. We didn't even know genies existed until now. It's not exactly a user manual for these things. So what are you going to do? Are you going to put my mum back to sleep? I'm just trying to figure out a way we don't all end up dead. I'd rather be dead than lose my mum again. You hear yourself! I don't want to lose my mum. Everyone around us is dying or dead. Your agent is dead. I don't care about the book anymore. What's important is that my mum is back. Look, just because your mum might go back into a coma is not the end of your world. You have to look at the bigger picture here, Gabby. I can see the bigger picture. You want to put my mum back to sleep. That is not what I'm saying. It is. You want to take every bit of shred of happiness away from Gabby, me. No. Just... I didn't realise you were coming. Oh my God, you and London had a fight. Something I have to tell you. You know you can tell me anything. I did something bad. I hurt a lot of people. Oh, it can't be that bad. You wouldn't harm a fly. Tell me what's happened. Well, <laughs> me and my friends. Well, I, we, we summoned a genie. <laughs> I know it sounds strange. What? What? I made a wish. I made a wish that you'd come out of your coma. And now I'm scared it's just going to all be taken away. You know how proud I am of you. I always have been. I know you'll do what's right. But I'm not always going to be here. Mom, don't say that. It's true. I 
won't always be around, but your life will go on and you'll have children and then you'll be gone. It's just the circle of life. So, you know, even if I'm not physically here, you know, I'm always part of you. And you can always talk to me like you did when I was asleep. You heard me. Of course I heard you. You would tell me your ideas and you would read to me. <laughs> Look, I love you, Brielle. Look, what can I do to help? Let's get this over with. No, I'm not scared. No, I'm not. Madeline, I left you to last. Why? Experience. This is not my first rodeo. In a group, there's always one. Unlike or vain, selfish, impressed friends. Is it distracted from material things? Your spirit is strong. You're not a blessing, you're a curse. You... You can't dismiss the truth, can you? I love her! That's what the doing. What is it you desire? I wish for you to be set free. Did you hear me? I wish for you to be set free! That is not a wish you can make. Why not? What difference does it make? It's my wish to make. You have to honour it. There are rules. It is not within my power to selfishly grant a wish that benefits me, unless it is my master's wish. Did you think it would be that easy? <laughs> Once are the key to their souls, to their final destination. 
Fine, I'll... I'll revoke it, I'll, I'll wish something else. It's too late. You have tried to look at my master's position. So I caused to take your soul. Fuck! You! Do this. I know. Any shin damihim volatete me. Any shin damihim volatete me. Any shin damihim volatete me. Hey, Melanie. No change since this morning? No, not yet. So strange how she was up and about and now she's reverted. I know. I guess she just needed more rest before coming out entirely. That's very sweet. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. I'm sure your mum would like to hear more of what you're writing now. She does. Shall I go from the beginning? On a beautiful late autumn evening, a young girl sits on a chair watching the sunset. She has been waiting, and she doesn't know how long more she has to wait. But she knows when that time comes, it will be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> 